But the night's festivities weren't without difficulties. One of the crew of Cleopatra's floats got stuck in a tree on Magazine Street. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Devin Bartolotta. Sharice is off. That caused a really long delay tonight as they struggled to get the float moving again. Amelia Strahan has been along the uptown route all night. Amelia, everyone looked like they were at least having fun once things got rolling. Yeah, so somebody just gave me some beads right before I went live, so that was really nice of them. So it looks like the crew of Ala is coming through right now. We caught the tail end of the crew of Cleopatra, and let me tell you, it may have all been women, but they had some arms. I mean, those beads were flying across the street with some real velocity. But right now we have the crew of Ala. It looks like their band is coming up, and they have some really impressive floats a little bit further back. Um, I don't know if we can get those on camera just yet because there are so many people in the way. I mean, take a look at these crowds. And what's crazy is I was here at 5 o'clock and they haven't thinned out at all. They have been here all night long despite the delay that I'm going to tell you more about in just a second because in New Orleans, people do not leave the parade early. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, someone just got hit by a bead or something. Crowds gathered along the streets of Uptown as the crew of Ocean kicked off Friday night's parade. I think they've been also, they've been throwing amazing throws to everybody and the performers, the dancers have been great and uh, it's been really fun. And nothing was going to get in the way of people's carnival spirit. It does not stop the carnival spirit. This is what we came for. The crew of Cleopatra was set to roll after the crew of Ocean, but got a late start after spectators say a float got lodged under the branches of an oak tree on Magazine Street. And according to some people, that is no excuse to go home. Mardi Gras. I mean, you know, you got to go for it. It's fun. So we're having a great time. This isn't the first run in with an oak tree. A similar situation happened last year when the crew of Pygmalion and the crew of King Arthur got tangled in tree branches just 24 hours apart. All right, guys, well, that is a wrap for tonight's parades. But of course, we will be with you all carnival season long in New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. All right, lots of parading to do. Thank you, Amelia. After last year's run-ins with trees, the New Orleans Parks and Parkways Department cut down a 25-foot long limb from an old oak. They then went along checking, uh, along the route rather, checking others. And just yesterday, the department posted this video showing them performing what they say is their annual route run-throughs. You can see the poles on the trucks measuring the height of the trees as they drive under. So it's unclear what exactly led to tonight's collision. And